we're going to make uh, dashi. Dashi is the stock used in Japanese cooking to make almost all of their fish and seafood dishes plus other dishes. It is made with kombi, dry seaweed. So we're going to take this kombi, or also known as kanbu, or kombu, the N or the M, but it's the same item. You take these pieces, this is not the same um, seaweed as used for making sushi, not at all. Anyway, we wiped it. I wiped this already with a damp cloth because there could be dust on there, particles or whatever. And you wipe it off, not scrubbing it, because there are important nutritional properties here that help the flavor that you don't want to lose. In here, we have 12 cups of cold water. And the other part of making dashi is the bonita flakes. Now I forgot where I put them. Anyway, I'm starting this off the night before. Uh, you can find many recipes for this. And I'm choosing the ones after extensive reading that I feel are going to give me the best flavor. The process is, this is soaked overnight. All of this kombu I'm going to put in there. This will soak overnight. Tomorrow during the day I will bring it to a boil 176 degrees. It will simmer for a couple of minutes at that temperature which is the correct temperature to add the bonita flakes which I will find by tomorrow which I have anyway I'm making a larger recipe because you can take this broth which has to be crystal clear when it's done and put it in the freezer and have it for weeks because if you're going to make something with this you're going to easily use a quart with no problem maybe a quart and a half so that's it for tonight tomorrow we'll finish it now this is not the only way to make dashi I looked at, uh, I researched, I googled and I've come up with this method and you know what method is the best? the one where the dashi is nice and smooth tasting and flavorful that's the one that's the best so you have to figure out how to do that we're going to bring this to 176 degrees at 176 degrees I'm going to leave the uh, kombu or kanbu in there for about three minutes and hopefully after sitting in the cold water in the refrigerator overnight we've extracted as much as we can of the flavor from this now you can't be boiling this away or you destroy everything about the uh, the kombu this has to come out crystal clear and this is one way which it will happen. So after this comes to a 176 and I leave it there for a few minutes then I take the, the seaweed out and then drop the bonita flakes as you see here See, nice, light and fluffy. They say if it's flat looking in the package, then it's really old. So you have to look out for that. So I'll wait till this gets to 176. And uh, this is very simple. It's a simple operation. And this is the basic for all 
seafood fish broths used in Japanese cooking and it's used in other dishes also but primarily uh, seafood and fish well I've reached 176 degrees I'm shutting off the flame and I'm setting my timer for not what I said before I'm setting it for five minutes after five minutes I'm going to remove all of the kelp and put in the bonita flakes so five minutes has elapsed I'm going to remove all of this and you can tell by looking at the, uh, the kelp it's absorbed a lot of the water so I started off with four quarts we're not going to wind up with four quarts a lot of it's right in here in my hand so now we're going to place the this can still be used again you can put this in the oven dry it out cut it up sprinkle it on something now we put the bonita flakes and just get them into the water and leave them and when they sink to the bottom we're all done that'll take a few minutes so for whatever reason which I'm going to find out, I don't know how, the uh, Bonita Flakes did not sink to the bottom. So what we're going to do is remove them. With the uh, We're going to strain all of this, but I want to take a lot of it out, so I'm going to use this. This is not the only use for uh, the Bonita Flakes. You can sprinkle them on salad, rice. When you're looking for that flavor, no sense in wasting film I'm going to strain the rest of it into uh, containers now I started off with four quarts of water and like I said the uh, was absorbed by the bonita flakes and the kelp so we came up with three quarts finished and look how clear that is and then you taste it And if it's pleasant tasting, has the flavor of both, there's nothing bitter or strong about it, you've made a good dashi. Just remember, this is only the basic, base for everything. From this, now you can, I have recipes for a miso soup. You can see the few different ways I make miso soup using dashi. So I hope you, hey, Google this and uh, find out all the uses and I uh, hope you enjoy this.